If you want to know what is oil separator valve and how it can destroy your engine, make sure you stay till the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a vehicle, doesn't matter if it's a Porsche, German, American, Chevy, Ford, Asian, Honda, Toyota vehicle, anything guys. You have a device on your engine that's called oil separator valve. That's the item guys that most of you don't ever think about replacing, but if you check your service manual, it will say that you need to replace it, let's say at 40, 60 or 100,000 miles guys. And we'll explain how important it is to your engine and how most people don't even ever think about that device, but it can practically destroy your engine. So make sure you stand till the end, we'll share very helpful information. Before we start, if you need to buy any parts or tools, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can buy all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well something else guys every single car we get at the garage we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you so we have that Porsche vehicle that uh, we've been working on and uh, we've been doing all kind of work, we did differential re replacement, engine mounts, uh, valve cover gaskets. Uh, it has 187,000 miles, guys, okay? And uh, you can see the engine is looking amazing. It's really clean, okay? You can see the valve covers are really clean on the inside. They're dark, of course, because it's a plastic, it's black, but we don't have any carbon buildup. Uh, now, guys, you can see that device right here. Okay, that's a device. That's known as oil separator valve or PCV valve. What it looks, on the inside it has a membrane. Okay, let me open uh, the one that we ordered to show you. This is it, guys. That's the device. It may look like that one, or it may be one that uh, you have a little bit different device that's smaller and it's kind of like a tubular looking. Okay, let me show you. Okay, like this one right here. And that oil separator valve is super important for the normal operation of the engine. Okay, let's explain what it does now. So, that valve, guys, okay, your engine, when the engine is running, okay, at idle, actually creates vacuum. But when the engine revs up at high RPMs, the pistons go up and down really fast, that creates pressure. That pressure, that air needs to come out somehow. Otherwise, you will damage, guys, uh, all the gaskets, valve cover gaskets, crankshaft seals, everything will start leaking oil. Uh, you can even damage uh, your head gasket that way. But you cannot just get that pressure and release in the atmosphere like it used to be back in the day. First, because everything will be oily. Second, okay, the car will not be efficient because we have the electronics for fuel injectors, lean mixtures. Uh, okay, so uh, it's very complicated design. You have multiple sensors that detect how much air is going in the engine, how much uh, air and fuel you still have in the exhaust calculated by, by the oxygen sensor. So what that valve guys does, okay, that pressure and air that's in the engine and needs to come out, it's mixed with oil fumes, oil vapors. That device needs to separate the f uh, oil and the air. That's what it does. The oil will come through that tube, for instance, and it will leak back to the oil pan. The air itself, guys, will be injected in the intake manifold. The air will be injected in the intake manifold. From there, it will go to the cylinder heads, okay, in the combustion engine, uh, the combustion chamber, it will burn. Okay, and everything is good, but the oil will stay in the engine. Now, if that device is bad, guys, okay, if it's stuck close, you will be building pressure that can lead to enormous amount of oil leaks, okay, if you suspect all of a sudden that you're developing oil leaks, okay, like we are right here, it could be because of a bad PCV valve. Also, guys, if, you in, uh, if it's stuck open, it will start pumping that oil in the intake manifold. You may have increased... Uh, actually increased guys carbon buildup in the intake manifold total body may be really dirty looking uh, the oil cap you may have a sluggish light film on it that's because of a failing pcv valve as well another thing guys okay that valve okay if it's stuck open the engine will be getting more air that will be detected by the oxygen sensors so the computer will indicate that you have lean fuel mixture which means more air less fuel so what it, the, the engine computer will do it will tell the fuel injector spray more fuel at that point guys what will happen okay uh, it will throw off the balance and your car will be burning more fuel it will not be efficient uh, also that valve can lead to engine light and codes for system being rich or lean or codes such as p0171174 another thing 
If you have a random misfire that's really hard to diagnose, it could be because of a bad PCV valve. Bad PCV valve can cause engine misfires as well. And lastly, but uh, guys, okay, if you have black, white smoke out of the exhaust, it could be just because of that valve. It will look like your engine is completely short when just the valve, let's say, it's stuck open or stuck closed. And you will notice increased fuel, uh, increased oil consumption as well. Those are guys some of the things about the pcv oil separator valve hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching and see you guys next time